Dixie here and welcome to Granny Women. Um, we just want you to know that we do love all of our fans and we are going to show you some uh, pictures and videos and clips of maybe some of our fans. So if you have anything special that you like to cook, can, uh, craft in, anything that you've been doing this summer, Please send them in to Granny Women, and we would love to show them on our show. So we thank you for watching, and we want you guys to know we love you. And I know I've not been on much. I've been, like, really busy. So we just wanted you to know that we love you, and thanks for watching. something else out there that says CSA Boots, if you run into that, put in slash Hammonds, A-M-M-O-N-S, and it'll take you right to it. All right, so tell us a little bit about your business. Well, um, I'm 16 years old. I go to Fountain High School in Rome Mountain, Tennessee, and I started my, it's at home kitchen bakery. It was a church picnic, and they asked if everybody would bring something to a dessert, and I said, okay, I'm just, when I was 14, they said, I said, I'm gonna break, make something from scratch, frost, and everything. And when I brought it, everyone loved it. And they said, would you do that again, do that again? I said. I said, nah, maybe. They said, we'll pay you. I said, hey, this could work. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started it. And somebody said, you're getting really good at this. Why don't you start a Facebook page? I said, well, I said, I'll think about it. And I started it. And it just boomed from there. And at school, they had a statewide Tennessee competition um, at Northeast State. And it was like a Shark Tank thing. And I won first place for $2,000. Wow. So, and with that, me and my dad, he's gone. He went to the restaurant. <laughs> we built a, uh, my at-home 
bakery and I've just been working on everything. That's where I do everything. This is incredible. Thank and so, uh, obviously they can find you on Facebook. Uh -huh. Cakes by Andre. Cakes by Andre. All right, and you'll have to tell me, what is your personal favorite out of all of these? My personal favorite would definitely be the Reese's over here. Right here. Those look delicious. That's my favorite. Those look peanut absolutely amazing. Wow. I was raised on peanut butter and chocolate. That's my dad's favorite, my grandparents' favorite. That's my favorite. All right, so tell me one thing you've learned from a grandparent. I learned to cook from my grandparents. At Thanksgiving, Christmas, I always had a thing to be in the kitchen. I said, oh, I said, can I help? Can I help? She'd be like, okay, come over here. And that's where I learned to cook. And I just learned to cook for everything. I've learned my faith. Every, I can't do anything without my grandparents. They've brought me up to who I want to be. I love it. Thank you so much. All right, so we're here with Miss Amy, right? Hi, how are you guys? So can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been doing this and how you got started? So yeah, when I was a child, I learned how to make dishcloths. And so that is how I learned. And Granny would take them to the factory. She would sell them for 25 cents each. And that would buy me 25 Tootsie Rolls. And from there, the addiction has started. <laughs> so what did you learn next? Um, so I, I crocheted dishcloths and little blankets, baby blankets for a long time. I no longer really do that as my main. I like the characters and I like the fun stuff now. What's one of your favorite characters to make or what's one of your top sellers right now? Sure, we love Coraline. Oh, yeah. She's my favorite. I dress up as Coraline sometimes at some of the shows. Um, and of course, Wednesday's really popular right now. But then other than that, I like Harry Potter and I just love a lot of the sci-fi. You know, I remember sitting on the couch watching all the horror films when I was a kid. And right now I'm really into the whimsy. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So for a kid who's getting ready to get started, you meant, did your grandmother teach you then? Yep, yep. So for sure. If a kid's But I also to watch YouTube. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. things that I didn't know how to do, like some of the tendrils, I didn't know how to do those at first. So I learned a lot of these on, on YouTube to make the little cool tendrils. Very, very neat. How long would you say it takes you to make one of your average size? So most of these up here are probably eight to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then some of the small ones are equally just because like this is almost like a thread versus a big yarn. Mm -hmm. So this one will take me a lot less time than this one. And if people want to find you and they want to purchase from you, where should they go? Um, you can call, I just started a new Etsy site. So it's just coming up right now. So I do have that there and she'll show it to you. Um, and then she'll flash the card in the front and you can just sure text message it. me or send me a message on Etsy. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We've got the CEO in the muscle for Sherapy Sugar Therapy. All right, so how did you get started making body lotions and scrubs? We wanted to help with natural products. We had wanted to get into the skincare and the body. And we have done so much as far as helping people with the moisturizing and the exfoliating on their skin. We do natural leave-in hair conditioner and we're also very proud of our pain center. We help with magnesium creams that help with restless leg and leg cramps. We have um, pain cream that helps on spot treatments. So depending on your pain, we can help with the level of that. And we just enjoy helping the public naturally. And what's one thing you learned maybe from your grandmother growing up? That the healthier the product is, the better it is for your body. I love it. And what's your top seller? Our top seller is probably our scrubs and our lotions. 
they do the best for the skin. And how can people find you if they want to order from you? If you can get a close-up of my sure card, I work out of Chucky, Tennessee, but you can access the website. My phone number is there and we do do delivery. So access the website and look at the products that we make. And if you need anything, I will be more than happy to help you get it to you and save you shipping. Thank so. you all so much. <laughs> oh, did we grab the wrong card? He said we grabbed the wrong card, so let's look at this one too. <laughs> yes, this one's the Jenny. Yes. All right, so this is the one you want to reach out to. Thank you all so much. Thank you. All right, so tell us about what you're selling. <laughs> Long smile. Tell us what you're selling. Um, we're selling custom journeys. So, all right. Do you want to show us what kind of granny women fun you guys have? Country cooking recipes. And on the back, it has granny. And who is granny to you? The greatest chef on earth. The greatest chef on earth. That she is. So you are her what great? Great niece, great niece. Well, I took it also that people could see on the back. Okay, yeah, you got to promote granny women. I like it. And so, if people want to buy a journal, where can they go? You can go on Amazon. Amazon. Okay, so they could scan. They can screenshot this and scan it to buy one. I like it. Which one is your favorite journal? My favorite journal this time is probably, I think my favorite is this one. The comic book? Make your own comics? All right, what about you? What's your favorite? This one. The Betsy Band? I, I, I think it'll start. I like it. Some good choices. Thank you. Show this to Lindy. All right, show us. So, where's your grandma? This is my grandma Perry. And that's Kevin's mama. That's my dad. I think that's Linda. Judy. Judy. And then, of course, there's Linda, Cindy, and Dixie. And don't forget, hit that bell icon, like, share, and subscribe.